topping our 530 holiday hazards. Lithium ion batteries have become a staple in our daily lives, powering everything from toys, smartphones, and electric vehicles. While these batteries offer convenience, improper use can lead to serious hazards for homeowners and first responders. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Whitney Burney. And I'm Simon Shaquette. Here's the top thing you need to know when it comes to lithium ion batteries. Your device, battery, and charger should all match. 7 News Detroit reporter Peter Maxwell starts us off with a warning we want you to know about staying safe. Lithium ion batteries are becoming very common in all of our households. However, they do pose an extreme risk if not cared for properly. Lithium ion batteries that are anything we do with solar panels on houses. I mean, all of this, it just creates such a unique challenge for all of us. If I came home with another lithium battery, she would absolutely freak out. While many homeowners trust lithium battery operated devices for Keith Lehman and his wife, it's a different story. She goes to the garage to investigate to see what's happened. She opens up the garage door and it's completely black and smoke. Taylor homeowner Keith Lehman went to work on October 8th, completely unaware of what he was going to come home to. All my tools, of course, were melted to nothing. Keith thought his batteries for his electric lawn equipment were safe, even while left on the charger. It just was a domino effect. It lit the other 400 volt battery that wasn't on the charger, it was just sitting on the shelf. It was on a metal shelf. That one caught on fire, then caught the other 18 volts on fire. So all those together created a 1200 degree fire in the garage. Today, fire department officials from the city of Gross Point, Detroit, Ferndale, and the state fire marshal came together to get the warning out about the potential dangers ahead of Christmas so people can take precautions when people are giving and receiving gifts that may use lithium batteries for power. Even though they're really well made for the most part, sometimes defective equipment happens. This is what the data is saying. The thermal runaway is occurring because of damage to the battery. Most batteries that are not damaged aren't having these issues. Overheating, overcharging, and using damaged batteries can result in fires or even explosions. But for Keith, he did not see the potential dangers. There was nothing wrong with the battery as far as I knew. I didn't see anything defective. I didn't see any cracks or breaks or anything. I like as lithium ion batteries become more common in our homes, the risk of such incidents increases. Fire departments are urging homeowners this holiday season to unplug after an item is fully charged and store the batteries properly when not in use. As for Keith, I'm old school. I'm going back to gas and two cycle. On the city's east side, Peter Maxwell, 7 News, Detroit.